Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Today we're going to be talking about the MSM routine. Now, as you're watching the video, you should really know what it means. However, let me tell you, MSM stands for Mirror Signal Maneuver. Why is this important? Well, firstly, you need it to pass the driving test. And secondly, you need it to drive safely after the test. It's no point passing the driving test and then forgetting about the MSM because otherwise you could have an accident after an accident after an accident. So the mirror signal routine is vital. As you need to pass the driving test first, let's talk about the driving test. A lot of learner drivers, they go for the test and they come back and they say, well, I did check my mirrors. I was checking my mirrors frequently but the examiner still failed me. So what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to tell the examiner every time you check mirrors? Or are you supposed to make it obvious by moving your head on every occasion? No, you don't need to tell the examiner and you don't need to move your head. Driving examiners are professional people. They will know when you are checking the mirrors, if you are checking the mirrors at the correct time. So what is the correct time to check mirrors? Well, firstly, before I talk about timing, let me just say that you should be checking the mirrors frequently so that you know what is behind you at any given moment in time. Now let's move back on to the timing. Let us assume that the examiner has asked you to turn right into the next road. While the examiner is asking you, he's going to be actually, he's going to turn his head and look at you directly in the eyes. And then he will say to you, I'd like you to take the next road on the right, please. While he's looking at you, he will be listening with his ears. He'll be listening for the indicator. If the examiner hears the indicator signal come on, tick, 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 before you've checked the mirrors or even at the same time, then that will be marked as a fault. It's not just checking mirrors before you signal. You need to check mirrors well before you signal. So you have time to think about the situation. So that's the first thing. We got the mirrors. If you're turning right, by the way, it's centre mirror first and then the mirror on the right. So we got the mirrors, then we got the S for signal. So we got MSM, mirror signal maneuver. Again, signal is important. Why is the signal important? Well, you need to let other road users know of your intentions before you carry them out. A lot of people, they fail on their signals. Either they signal too early or they signal too late. The thing about signals, they should not be confusing. It's no point indicating at the same time as you're going to change your lane because you're not giving the person the time to react. So if you're going to change lane and there's someone overtaking you, let them pass first and then recheck the mirrors and then signal. So again, we've got the mirror signal and then we've got the maneuver. Now, the manoeuvre is divided into subsections. Basically, 
is divided into position, speed, gears, and look. So now is no longer MSM. It's basically mirror, signal, position, speed, gears, look. So we've got six things to focus on. When people fail their driving test, it is highly likely that they fail on one of these six things. So if you focus on these six things, you will dramatically increase the chances of you passing the driving test. So once again, let's talk about the scenario that we're turning right. So the examiner has looked at you and he's asked you to turn right. He's saw you, checked the mirrors, and then he's heard the signal go on. After that, the examiner will look into the road ahead. What is he looking for? Position. Mirror, signal, position. The examiner wants to see that you're in the correct lane and not over your line. It is a procedure that the driving examiners will follow. And if you follow that same procedure, you will have a better chance of passing. So we've got mirror, signal, position. After the position, we've got the speed. Now, let's take the examiner's view again. Once again, the examiner's asked you to turn right. So the examiner's looking at your eyes and he saw you check the mirrors. He's heard your signal. He's looked into the road ahead and he saw that you're in the correct position. The next thing the examiner is going to do is look at your feet. He will look at the pedals to see whether you are braking first or whether you're putting the clutch down first. Because how do you get the speed down? Precisely, we brake first. If you brake, you get the speed down. Some people are tempted to put the clutch down. That is known as coasting. Coasting can result in a, a failing a driving test and we'll talk about that at another stage. But for the time being, let's focus on the MSM routine. So we got mirror, signal, position, speed. We get the speed down using the brakes. So the examiner will look at your feet to make sure that you are braking before the clutch. If you're driving an automatic, then that's one Thing less to worry about so you don't have to worry about uh, about the clutch so just get the speed down how slow should the speed be basically ideally the speed wants to come down to below 20 miles an hour and then you can change gears so mirror signal position speed gears Again, if you're in an automatic car, that's something you don't have to worry about. So the examiner's looking at your feet, he's seen you brake, the speed is down, and then you put the clutch down. Once the speed gets to below 20 miles an hour, you put the clutch down and you change gears. Once you've changed gears, the car is not in gear fully until until the clutch comes back up. While the clutch is down, you are coasting. And that means you're in neutral gear. The examiner must see the clutch come up. If you can't come off the clutch straight away, as long as it's in the process of coming up, it is acceptable. So if you're slowly coming off the clutch, maybe you need to stop again. Then it's fine to put the clutch down. So you've selected the second gear. Sometimes, depending on the turning, as you get closer, you may decide to put it into first gear. So then you reapply the clutch, put it into first gear. Now, 
If you're in first gear, that is when you can use clutch control. Again, we'll talk about clutch control in the coasting lesson, which I'll be uploading very shortly. So once again, we've got mirror, signal, position, speed. You're in the correct gears. Then you want to look. And again, the examiner will be looking at you to see whether you're making the correct observations. What are the observations? Well, you need to look into the road before you turn to make sure it's safe to turn in. And you need to be looking ahead to make sure that anyone coming towards you, you do not make them do the three S's. You do not make them slow down. You do not make them swerve. And you do not make them stop. So slow down, swerve, stop. You don't want to make them do any of those things. So if there is someone coming towards you, you should give them priority and let them pass. Once you've turned into the road, that's the manoeuvre completed. So once again, the six things that you need, that you need for passing the driving test, mirror, signal, position, speed, gears, look. Yes, everybody calls it the MSM routine, mirror, signal, manoeuvre. But the manoeuvre is divided into subcategories. If you follow that routine, you'll increase your chances of passing the driving test. Well, I hope you found this video to be beneficial. If so, as usual, please give us the thumbs up and uh, share the video. Thank you for watching.